Hello YouTube. We are back for more Dominion action. This five is cash and ergo dreadful. Um Forager's quite a good bane. So we wanna go Sea Hag, Candlestick Maker. And try to get foragers as quick as possible, probably. Fortunately, I don't have to show this 5 to, Well, actually, I wouldn't have to show the 5 2 at all. But. Okay, if he goes Young Witch, he has a huge advantage, but he can't know that. He goes Forager, so he's planning on going Double Forager, but I will see Hag quite happily. Um, yeah, he showed me 4 for Forager. He should have gone 3, I think. Uh, double forager, okay. I'm gonna start picking up foragers of my own. Very soon, of course. Um, I mean, I could have also gone embargo and embargoed the sea hags, I suppose, but I don't know. He goes for market square, this is unsurprising to me. Probably goes for another market square here. Possibly a third forager. Yep, I get forager number two. And I'm going to get forager number three before I go for my first market square. just focusing on number one most important is get those get the deck thin um, and this is going to be by one terminal for a long time uh, subsequent fours I can get ironmongers yeah um, and I have a couple of candlestick makers which should uh, help especially with my relatively thin deck uh, with expensive, if I get enough, I need to remember that I can stone mason. Okay, time for market square. Like here, I could stone mason for a couple of market squares. Uh, I don't think it's worth spending these two uh, tokens yet. I'd rather hang on to my tokens. Now he has a few golds already. Um, but I'm also pumping his deck full of more stuff. I don't know, I think he has quite a lot of uh quite a lot of market squares at this point. I'm not so sure about that, but we'll see. He has five here. I might go for a three and a two. Or uh, by a three and a two, I mean a three and candlestick maker. Or I might overpay for stone mason to get two copies of threes. Yeah. So what is he gonna get? Uh, a forager and a market square. I mean, that's a lot of foragers pretty soon. But there's also some market squares. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna get a third candlestick maker here. He gets market square and okay forager. So piles are getting sort of low, interestingly enough. Uh, get another candlestick maker. I mean, sort of. These two piles are down to three. That's not really that low. Uh, and yeah, now we have this market square idiot situation going on. Not that I'm saying that he's an idiot, but it's a play off a of village idiot, which blah 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 I'm not trying to, to denigrate my opponent here but play market square draw market square play market square draw market square play a market square draw market square you know the drill buy more market squares ha uh, ha yeah I think market square is sort of a trap and he just goes for gold um, in fact here I will just get a silver
I don't understand. What does that mean? Does he have like five golds in his hands? Oh, he can't have five. Maybe he has four. And stuff just didn't line up. Or maybe he's just unhappy because all of his market squares came together without a trasher. But I mean, okay, that's going to happen after not that long. Um, and like four market squares, I got to think, is almost always too much. Or maybe he has to trash a card that he doesn't want to. He didn't have to play it. One, two, three, his forager. What was the fifth card in his hand? I don't understand. Anyway, we can do this, do this, play Sea Hag, get another candlestick maker. And I've got all these chips to help me out. Okay, so he overpays for Stonemason and gets what? I seriously don't think you really want so many more of these. Uh, however, here we're still going to do this. I need to still get more golds. That's only my second one. And this allows me to get another one of these. Hey, hey. Um... So now I have lots of candlestick makers, and that should set me up well down the stretch. He only gets three again. Yeah, I, I just... People overdo the market squares. They did the same thing with tunnels. Um, is they'd be like, oh, tunnels can gain so many gold, and they end up getting so many tunnels, and then they're confused as to why their deck isn't producing that much money. Here he has so many market squares... A couple of them are good, yeah, but then you, you want silver so you can start actually buying stuff. And now he gets his first silver. Okay. I get another one of these, and, uh... Well, now we really do have to watch out for three pile endings. Uh, he gets another gold. What does he do? He has three... Gets another silver, okay. I want to do this. And, okay, well, seven to end it here. Um, Boy, I can't recall who has that estate. I think it's him. I could be wrong. But he has two curses, so I have a slight lead, so I'm not real worried about it. Um, once more gaining a couple of golds here, and the rest of this shuffle I am going to be greening pretty hard. Let's see what he does. Okay, so he could be gaining... Uh, Duchy and ooh, okay, so I really do need to be watching out for end the game scenario. End the game scenario, okay. Yeah. So three, what does he get? One of these cards? No, he gets a silver, okay. Well Alright. Um Oh, he trashed that gold, of course. So this is now worth four. I can get an Ironmonger, which I would quite like to have. And, uh... Okay, he has eight here and three buys. Okay... Here, I could double Province. But I don't think he can end the game yet, so I'm just going to go for one. I want to hold off on the last going going too big for as long as I can. Here he gets another province. Candlestick, 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 trash this. This gives me three and... I get another province. I have eight left. Eight tokens left, that is. 
Um, and I'm probably going to spend seven here and get another province. Uh, I do believe that Kurt, that estate is his, right? I haven't seen it at all. So he has one estate and one curse right now. Those cancel each other out. So he's ahead by his two duchies. Um, and to end the game, it's it's still a lot of. Uh, Well, you would need to stonemason for these two, stonemason for these two, uh, stonemason for these two, and buy a candlestick maker is the, the quickest way. So that's one, two, okay, well, if he does for the golds, the, yeah, that's potentially dangerous. You should probably get duchies. Yes. So now I'm in a little bit of a dangerous spot, but I do get to give him this curse. And actually, you know what? I hang on to my tokens. Okay, now I'm not going to hang on to these tokens. And now I'm going to have to calculate. Probably candlestick, candlestick, forager, one of these. Okay, so he's a province and four duchies ahead. Yowzes. Uh, because I'm not going to get around to using this again. Okay, now six, 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 six. Um, nineteen. Let's see. I could province, province. What does that do for me? Um, I have two provinces to get to at least five provinces. Uh, if he can province next turn, I will need to get to four duchies, which is really unlikely. So we're going to assume that he can't, because I need to, right? Six. Uh, I spend ten of my tokens to double province. Or I spend three fewer. I spend seven. Well, okay, let's spend two anyway. I'm going to at least province. Um, if I province now, I'll be behind by four duchies. He has one curse in an estate, and f so he'd be strictly four duchies ahead. Um, if he provinces, I'm just dead anyway. Let's... do this. and hope that he has a dud hand. Okay, six is going to be a duchy. Now, um, so I need to be able to province and duchy. Candlestick maker, candlestick maker gets me to five. If I forager the market square, that's going to give me six money and five tokens, which is not enough. So I need to play this market square. Okay, candlestick, candlestick. Forge the candlestick. Now I have six. I can get up to eleven. That is not enough. I'm going to use one now to do this. And again, I have to hope, but it's not looking good. Uh, if he can province, he wins. If he can duchy, I'm in okay shape. Now he provinces and wins. Uh, yeah. Hmm. So my sea hag didn't really do much. I think that's the lesson of this game. 
the Sea Hag was not good. Why was the Sea Hag not good? He just had so much trashing that it was a waste of time for me. I still don't like all of his market squares. Um, I think he got too many, but it was really my Sea Hag, I think, that uh, led to my downfall. I have no idea what that means. Uh, does any of you? Uh, anyway, comments or questions, and thanks for watching.